cataractcoach.com. Blanco puncture technique for intumescent white cataracts. Can this be the answer we've been looking for? Now you heard our podcast yesterday about white cataracts and they're not all alike. And that was from Dr. Juan Valle. And here are the lessons he learned from Dr. Ariel Blanco. So he credits Dr. Blanco from Argentina with teaching him all about the white cataracts and how to prevent that Argentina flag sign. Now the three basic types of white cataracts are without fluid, with fluid, and homogenous. And we know about a morgagnian cataract, that's all the cortex is liquefied and the nucleus sinks down to the bottom. But the capsular bag can still be pressurized, you can still have the risk of capsular runout. So it is the white cataract with pressurized white milky fluid cortical material that creates the dangerous surprises and you have to recognize this at the slit lamp before surgery, not just in the operating room. So a great option, he says, is to perform a YAG laser capsulotomy just before surgery. So here you go, puncture the anterior lens capsule and giving it time to equilibrate. And that can be done in the pre-op period. Now think the delta of pressure compartments here. So intumescent cataract has high intracapsular pressure. So when you size the cornea, the AC pressure becomes zero. We've talked about this. And so now think about a balloon that represents the lens capsule. And you could push on it and have normal pressure in the anterior chamber. You can have high pressure in the anterior chamber or low pressure. So with a coronal incision in low pressure in the anterior chamber, you put small amounts of viscoelastic, and now what? There's still a huge pressure gradient. And so think about the balloon example again. So you put more viscoelastic then and highly pressurize it, and that can help to equilibrate it, but you still may have this pressure gradient. And therefore, you're likely to pop that balloon. Y ven cómo sale la viscoelástica, no, 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 no dudó en ponerle. ¿Y qué pasa? Arranca, se pone su cistítomo, hace su primer corte, piensa que todo va bien, tiene la cámara hiper llena, pero miren lo que pasa. Yo la And now look, look, there it is. So I think you can understand the Spanish, get the idea. That's the issue. So the same situation of the balloon. So if you push down with too much force, you're more likely to rip it. So the anterior chamber is deflated with a paracentesis and then hyperfed with this elastic. That's what we normally do, right? But that can be an issue. So his idea here is to go inside instead and just do a puncture. We want to avoid that situation, right? We've seen that many times. So let's see what he says. He recommends puncture before the paracentesis using a 30 gauge needle to penetrate the cornea at the limbus, advance the needle capsule, pass the epinucleus, and then go in and out, back and forth. If you need to, you can also aspirate with a syringe. So he's gonna so show here, he'll poke in with 30 gauge needle at the limbus. Again, no paracentesis, no viscoelastic in the AC. Poke into the lens capsule, here we go, in and out, and in and out, and this will let it all ooze out and depressurize in a controlled manner. So he says he wants you to do linear in and out movements and not to make sideways ripping movements. And so there's Blanco puncture, the anterior chamber, capsule pressure and vintage pressure are all at equilibrium. Nevertheless, there's still a pressure gradient to be released when you puncture the anterior lens capsule. And again, think of the balloon example here. So again, he wants you to do a linear puncture in and out, get that nucleus rocked. We talked about that before in previous videos to get the, the liquefied lens cortex from all around the nucleus, get it all out. And once you've done this and neutralized the pressure gradient, guess what? Now you've got an easy equilibrium. You can make your incision and continue your FACO. So let's see a video here, puncturing in. You can see the milk comes out. He'll puncture in again, again, in and out, in and out, not left to right. And he allows all that fluid to come out. You may want to poke in a little bit, rock the nucleus a little bit as well. And so by doing this Blanco puncture technique, it seems like he solved the issue for us. So I can't wait to start it. I'm going to try it for sure. So again, Blanco puncture tips is puncture before the paracentesis. 30 gauge needle to penetrate the cornea, advanced needle in the capsule, past the epinucleus, gentle in and out, linear movements. The cortical white milk comes and oozes right out. And if you need to, you can aspirate with a 3cc syringe. So great idea. Thank you for sharing this. And I look forward to trying it in my own operating room.